Hi everyone! So the storm Ida hit us on the east coast and firstly I hope you were able to weather the storm safe and sound. But yeah, the rain was very bad and my basement flooded. Okay, so this is my sump pit on a normal sunny day. I have two pumps. The green one is my main sump pump and the grey one on top is the backup which is a water power pump in case we lose electricity. And after hours of hard rain from Ida, this is what the sump pit looked like. So the two pumps are at this point running non-stop, but the water level isn't dropping. Hindsight thinking, I should have acted earlier as soon as I saw this. But we were looking at it for about half an hour and saw that the water level is creeping up and then I went to the hardware store to get another pump to help it out. But in fact, it was worse than what we thought. Ida was crossing right through where we are and there were some tornadoes developing the area as well. It took me about 40 minutes more than the usual 20 minute round trip to our nearest Lois and that was all it took for the flooding of our basement. Yeah, so when I came back, there was about an inch of water everywhere. We installed a utility pump and connected it to a garden hose to discharge the water out the basement window. So because the whole basement was flooded, the additional third pump didn't have an obvious effect for a while. Everything was already wet, we didn't have enough time to really move the stuff upstairs, and you know, we also have a one-year-old to take care of at the same time, so it just made things more and more challenging. By the way, this is the area of our basement that I'm looking to finish and convert into a home gym. And just look at how it got a nice deep bath to start with. Not only the area, but also all the materials. Huh. So it stayed like that for about 2-3 hours, and luckily the rain was winding down after that, and I could see that the water level is dropping, and that things are starting to collect slowly towards the sump pit and the pumps. So now the water level is under control and my third pump is not running anymore. And now I have it placed way down below and it will be triggered once the level rises again. And actually this utility pump is pressing down the float of my backup pump so that my water part backup pump will not run anymore. And that's because I felt now that the water level is under control and the main pump can handle it by itself. And so I didn't want to waste the water source that's needed for the backup pump. So by this time, I have also got a dehumidifier running. You can see that the current humidity is 74%. Yep. And we got a hose for a continuous drain down to the sump pit. Now the water level is under total control, but just look at how fast the pit fills up. And that's the sound of my pump running. Yes, the pump is running every 9 seconds and about 4 inches were filling up during that time. And it looked like the situation is over now and we could finally get some sleep. So the next day we had to deal with a mess. We dropped off our boy to the daycare, take day off from our work, and here is me removing the carpets. And also the unlayment pads. And got a bigger dehumidifier from my friend. We got all the boxes and stuff out from the basement storage, the wet boxes and the wet stuff. And all this time, our sump pit 
was happily laughing at us. Oh well, that's it gonna be for my video. I really hope that all the viewers of the video are safe from the storm and if you're affected, I really hope that you can recover soon and smoothly. If you like the video, please, please subscribe to my channel. It really supports me making these videos and also going through this hardship. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.